the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September 2018 reading with me, Pisces Priestess, aka Braylon. And we're doing things a little bit different this month. I'm using my Indigo Angel deck because I thought that was a good theme for Virgo and Libra as they are the Archangels and the Angels of our universe. And I already shuffled and I got you a card here that, that will best relate to you in September. It's a kind of an advice card, a guidance card for September as well. And I'm going to be reading from the Indigo Angel book. And I also may channel a bit um, from this card if that's something that comes up, okay? So the card we have for you this month, Scorpio, is Think About It. So you guys could definitely be in some heavy thought this month in September. Um, there just may be something that's heavy on your mind or some sort of decision that you need to think about. Uh, there's something here that you need to think about, Scorpio. I do believe this card has came up for you guys before while I've done readings. But we're going to see um, what exactly this card comes up for, okay? So we've got Think About It. So this card asks you to step back from your current path or thought process and review the situation you're asking about. There's an unseen aspect and the angels guide you to slow down so you can move forward with the whole picture in sight. This card can also be cautionary. If you are about to make a radical change impulsively, oh, okay, so this card can also be cautionary if you are, if you are about to make a radical change impulsively. While it may still be the best path, this card does ask you to look into the alternatives first. As an indigo child, you're exquisitely sensitive, exquisitively sensitive to energy, and your mission is to heal and transform negative energy into positive. However, there's always a better way to do so. This card asks you to research your options for making the healthful changes that are part of your indigo mission. Okay, Scorpio, this was deeper than I think, or that I thought. Interesting, there could be even something about you this month where there was more something that was just a little bit more interesting, a little bit deeper than what you thought. So I'm going to go back here and, and reiterate some of the things that I really think jumped out for me, for you guys in September. So this card asks you to take a step back from your current path. So there could be something in September that, that the universe is, is kind of guiding you to take a step back. If I know you, Scorpio, you probably have already taken several steps back because you guys are very protective individuals, especially emotionally. You guys are able to smell bullshit in the middle of a blizzard, you know what I mean? So you're probably taking some steps back to think about something important. It might have to do with the decision that you have to make this month or some sort of radical change, as this mentioned. So you're being asked to take a step back from your current path or thought process. So there could be something that you're thinking about, something on your mind, and you may be even asked to take a step back from that to review the situation that you're asking about. So whenever I click on a tarot reading um, on YouTube, I always have something deep down, whether I know it or not, intuitively, subconsciously, there's always some sort of situation that I'm looking to get guidance on. That is what this card is coming up for. So whatever led you to this video, whatever is weighing heavy on you right now as you watch this, that is the situation you're being asked to kind of take a step back about and think about, okay? Because this was really interesting, Scorpio. It said that there's an unseen aspect to the situation you're thinking about. So that really stuck out to me because you guys are all about unseen aspects, right? Hidden subconscious forces. That is Pluto energy. Pluto is in Capricorn right now. That is your ruling planet, all right? So you guys are under heavy, serious influence. So when it comes to things that are unseen, that you're, you're still able to feel it, Scorpio, because you're a water sign. So there's certain things that you're able to see psychically and intuitively um, about a certain situation this month in September. But, you know, the thing about us being water signs and being very psychic, we do have to kind of, sometimes we have to wait for physical proof before we move forward physically. Now, if you're getting an intuitive message, if you know, you better trust your gut, Scorpio, because you're one of the most psychic signs. So if there's something that you feel in your gut, in September, if you feel it intuitively, then I would move accordingly intuitively, intuitively. But before moving forward physically, there may be some sort of physical thing that needs to kind of be revealed to you. You guys are all about unseen aspects. So there is some sort of unseen aspect and you're being guided to slow down so that you can move forward with the whole picture. 
So even if there is some truth, I believe there's always truth to what a water sign is able to pick up in, in psychically and intuitively. We never get false visions, you know, but sometimes there is even more to that picture. Kind of like That's So Raven. You know, her visions would always come true. I'm not sure if all of you watched That's So Raven. But her visions would always come true and she would try to stop the vision from coming true, but it would wind up coming true anyways. And it would come true in a different way, though. So even a psychic, even someone who's intuitive, even a person like you, Scorpio, who rules this, the eighth house of secrets, who's ruled by the unseen, you know, outer planet Pluto, you know, even you guys, there's certain things that even shock you, right? And I know you do your best to never be shocked because it is so hard for a Scorpio to go through a situation where they feel betrayed or like something was hidden from them. That, if you guys ever wondered why that is, it's because you're the 8th house of hidden information. You guys are the 8th house of intimacy. Intimacy is one of those things that we, we keep a secret in this realm, right? There's certain intimate facts and, and things about us as people that we don't share with anybody except very, very select few people. So there's something about a situation in September that you need to wait to see the whole picture before you move forward. So just slow down a bit. And so you can also, this could also be a caution all right, so if you're about to make some sort of radical change in September, Scorpio, you could be cautioned. Like, just make sure you're looking at all the op options, all the obstacles before you make some huge change, right? You guys do have Jupiter in your sign for a couple more months. Like, literally, if I were you, I would really live up to Jupiter being in Scorpio because in November, Jupiter is going to move into Sagittarius. So expansion and things like luck and stuff like that, that's going to be changing for you. So really, really take advantage of that Jupiter energy in Scorpio. Because it's allowing you guys to learn more. It's allowing you guys to expose and expand and, you know, kind of um, approach things like a philosopher. So learn and teach and even travel to a certain extent. So, yeah, make sure you're kind of being cautioned about um, any impulses. And it's still this thing that you're about to do in September, Scorpio, it probably is the best path for you. But you're just you're just being asked to look at all the options first. OK, for some reason. You are very sensitive to energy. Your mission is to heal and transform. Wow, is that not a Scorpio uh, message? I believe that's the reason why this card came out for you because you were in, you needed to hear that you're very sensitive to energy because part of your mission here in this life, Scorpio, is to heal and transform negative energy into positive energy. So not only is heal and transform very much sticking out to me because that's exactly what you guys do as the eighth house, the eighth house of transformation and death. Transformation is a word for Scorpio. So you're healing and you're transforming on this mission. So that's something that sticked out. And then also transforming negative energy into positive. Scorpio gets so much bad rep for their high sexual energy and for their dark mysteriousness. But you guys are one of the most pure signs of the zodiac. Pure signs of the zodiac. You guys have a very pure energy. Okay, the eighth house is dark, but it's so pure. So there's something here about turning negative energies into positive. So there's always a better way to do so. This card asks you to research your options before making. That's the last thing I have to say here is that before making any. Um, this card asks you to research your options before making the healthful changes. So healthful changes that's coming up because Virgo is the house of health. So just keep in mind any changes that happen during Virgo season could potentially affect our health. It could potentially, you know, um, it's just important that we're making decisions in a healthy way in Virgo season because Virgo season it really does access that realm of lifestyle and health, mental health, physical health, emotional health. So yeah, these these changes happening in your life in September, Scorpio, are happening because of Virgo season. Virgo season is trying to create a, a healthier lifestyle for all of us. So you know, make sure that you're kind of researching your options before these changes that are happening um, on your mission. So think about it, Scorpio. Think about it, think about it, and think about it some more. This is your card for the month. I'm going to put it here as an um, overlooking energy. I did want to show you guys that the bottom of the deck is allow love. So, you know, this this thing that you're thinking about, it could definitely be revolved around love. It could be um, revolved around self-love or, you know, just allowing yourself to be vulnerable. I think you guys are really, really um, going through that Scorpio, Scorpio phase where you're overprotecting yourself because of something, some sort of betrayal in the past. You know, there's a reason why this allow love card is coming up for you guys. And it might be this person does not want to offer their heart. She is terrified to. 
she's really terrified to offer her heart, but she's allowing love into her life. She's offering her heart to this new situation, even though she's thinking about it. So you guys, this might be about some sort of partner. There's something that you need to think about and you need to look through the situation as well because there's just something you're... This is concerning me because Scorpios are so excellent at, at seeing secrets and, and you guys know the dark. You guys are able to see in the dark, you know what I mean? You guys see better in the dark. You see you see better in a secretive way. You know, you guys do well with secrets and spying energy and just knowing what's up. So the fact that you're being asked to look through a situation even further and also you're being asked to think about something and what came up with this card is unseen aspects. So I hate to break the news to you, Scorpio, but at least in this reading, my guys are leading me to talk to you about the things that you're not able to see right now. You know, Virgo season is all about your 11th house. This is about your, your uh, community. This is about your friends. This is about groups of people so be careful um when you're in groups when you're around groups of people which is three people or more in september if you're around three people or more there could just be some unseen aspects that that's involved there maybe you guys are dealing with a third party maybe you guys are coming out of third parties you know and there's some sort of allow love energy so you want to think about allowing love scorpio before you leave someone or before you jump into a relationship or make any any changes when it comes to your love life or anything like that you just might want to spend some time thinking about it. I know water signs can sometimes try to rush their emotional process. Um, and, you know, that's that's not always a good thing. Sometimes we need to know that there's no time limit. You know, there, if someone's trying to give you an ultimatum, like, you need to choose me or choose me now. Like, if there's any ultimatums or time limits that are being pushed on you by anything but the universe, you really want to check that person. Because you deserve time to think about something. You definitely do. Sorry, my, my camera looks really blurry, so I don't even think you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, I'm dealing with a new setup here, so just know that your the card, think about it, is there. I'll probably plug my lamp in here in a minute, but until then, I will shut my blind a bit, because I think that it's just causing an awful glare, so I don't know if that just made it better or worse. It looks like it made it a little worse, so I'm going to take this as a sign I don't know. I'm trying to make it darker in here for you, Scorpio. So maybe there's something that you really that you can't see right now because of some sort of something that you became aware of or some sort of new awareness that you found. Something has to do with this though. It has to do with some sort of light and dark, which is the unknown and the known. So there's there's what you know, Scorpio, and there's what you don't know. And it may have to do with your love life. So I'm sorry this is glaring. I really can't um put it anywhere else other than right here I'm really gonna try by October to have a new setup here with all this um, with all these cards and stuff so think about it is here we know that that's your underlying energy and now we're gonna start shuffling here to get a bit more information about September as a whole so this is um, for Scorpio September 2018 the eighth house of our universe the fixed water sign what messages do we have for Scorpio? I did just see the Temperance card in the Three of Swords. Some of you guys are feeling betrayed by a Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with a third party with a Sagittarius. Or you're just being asked to stay patient. And then that Three of Swords just came out again. So we've got quite a big message here for you, Scorpio. Um, the Three of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Devil. Some of you guys are headed towards a Capricorn, headed from a Capricorn. Maybe there was a Capricorn that betrayed some of you. This is a message that needs to come out for Scorpio this month. Some of you guys are dealing with heavy, heavy karmic relationships. Toxic betrayal, addictions, manipulation. Some of you guys are dealing with, um, you're either moving from a Capricorn or to a Capricorn, but there is some sort of third party connection here. This is anything that you feel chained to. I think some of you guys are really releasing the chains in your heart. Now I can see why this allow love card is here and why you're being asked to look at look through the situation. Because, and this is the five of swords, so there's some conflict going on here with your heart. Um, conflict here about moving away from heartbreak and um, towards some sort of Capricorn energy. I'm not sure what that's about. Then we have the nine of wands, the three of pentacles, and the high priestess. Secret third party situations um, from the past or even currently. And you know, Scorpio, you're just wondering when's the next time I'm going to have to battle this uh, third party situation. And I think you guys are battling something that has to do with someone who's not working together. Because we have the Three of Pentacles here. And I think you guys are leaving situations this month that 
are not te- like you're you're realizing what is and what isn't working. This three of pentacles is talking about teamwork. Okay, these people are at work and they're all working together. This could be a third party with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I just see there's some uh, maybe you guys are defensive at your, with your coworkers. There may be certain partners or just certain battles that are being fought with um, uh, third party situations at work, like secretive third party situations because maybe you are a spouse is kind of in, involved with someone who's at work. There's just certain secrets. This is that unknown energy, you know, knowing that there's hidden aspects that you don't know about yet. You're really, really, really defensive about this, Scorpio. You're very defensive about what you're, what you're able to pick up on. You think somebody is lying to you financially, that some of you do. Some of you think you're being lied to financially. You think somebody is lying about something when it comes to work. Like they're saying, you know, I'll be back. I'm going, I got to work this day. And you're like, mm, I bet you don't work. I bet you're going to meet up with someone. Like, I don't know, Scorpio. You, when you're on, I trust you. Like, you need to trust this too because you're on the defense about something. Because this is a battle. Like, you fought a lot of battles when it comes to betrayal. You've, you're fighting your intuition as well. You know, like this is battles when it comes to secrets and when it comes to things that you know psychically, trusting your own emotion about this teamwork situation for some of you. And for others of you, it's going to be a third party. So some of you are just battling whether to believe whether someone's faithful now, if they're really going to be faithful, or are they secrets still attached? You know, like when's the next time I'm going to have to fight you over this money situation or this teamwork situation? Like we need to work together and I'm fighting this all alone on my own. You know, and there is some sort of secret heartbreak here, for sure. And I feel like you guys are leaving behind. Maybe you guys are changing work. For some of you, this is just changing work. Um, but I do see this Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, which means some of you guys are leaving behind a third-party situation. And I do see three people here. Some sort of small child, someone who's covered up, and then someone who's rowing that boat. So you guys are leaving behind situations that were not working out for you emotionally you know what i mean they were toxic hopefully you guys aren't headed to toxic because we've got these cards here together for you so you guys have been fighting these kind of battles this month these are the kind of battles scorpio has been fighting and that is tough these are subconscious battles maybe a capricorn that you're fighting it may be some some addiction that this is someone who's fighting addiction for sure and this may be interfering with their uh work there's a secret battle here with addiction. Someone's leaving an addiction. Someone is addicted to something for some of you. And it could just be a person, place, or thing. This could be a person who's addicted to non-committal. Like they, addictions are funny. It, addiction is anything that we feel chained to that we can't release ourselves to. So, you know, there's some chains around your heart chakra right now, Scorpio, that you're keeping a secret. You're still trying to work together even though you're fighting this battle, toxic, dark, devil battle, fighting your own inner demons. Right, but I feel like you're leaving that behind. Some of you guys are really leaving behind a third party situation. In this, we have this Nine of Pentacles just hanging out here as this last final card. And this is the card of someone who's single. So, you guys in September could really just be focusing on your own. How can I get independent? Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Some of you guys are really, and what's this card sticking out here? Oh, that Nine of Pentacles. So, we've got some financial completions going on this month. And also, you know. Okay, sorry. Definitely some financial completions. And uh, I feel like there's maybe some new... Oh, yes. Look at it. You guys were right behind. So there's some new offers coming in for you, Scorpio. This looks like you may be offering someone else something. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be anything that you're offering, any sign that you're offering. Could be to an air sign. All right? But I do feel like you guys are kind of offering some sort of foundation or something real you're giving your value to someone this is literally the hand of scorpio we, you guys are the death card so in one on one message here this is scorpio um receiving or being given or giving i'm not sure if it's getting given to you or if you're giving it to someone else but this could be a financial windfall it could be a new situation that you value this is the universe giving scorpio something that they need this month it's something you need mentally and physically spiritually it could be money. It could be something. It's something you can touch. It's something real. It's something worth something to you. So it's going to be different for all of you. And if that doesn't resonate, then this is just your certain opportunities coming to Scorpio in September that are going to transform. There could be certain job situations that are kind of dead. And there could be, this is codependence. I'm not sure if some of you are dealing with like codependence with um, finances. 
you know, Scorpio is the house of shared resources. So you guys are used to having to share resources, unlike Taurus, who's able to kind of keep their resources um, theirs. But I say that a lot to Scorpio, that you guys are the house of shared resources. And sometimes that can mean really sharing everything you've got or having to share something with another person. And that can just that can just get to Scorpio sometimes. But it looks as if there's offers coming to you and only you, Scorpio. And, um, you know, it's going to transform you. So, you know, that was a big message there for, for a few of you. So if that resonated, cool. If not, we're going to get the collective spread here now. And now we have that Six of Swords almost just come out again, Scorpio. So some of you guys are really traveling this month. Um, it could even be by boat or over water in a plane. Um, but there's just some emotional travels. Like, I think you guys are going to be traveling for emotional reasons in September um, away. Ooh, okay, we had some, the Two of Pentacles almost come out. So you could be uh, doing some juggling. Maybe you have to decide something financially this month. And that might be why you're traveling. Um, but you're leaving behind something that was not very emotionally stable. And... You know how you guys are, Scorpio, about emotional stability, right? You're the fixed water sign, so emotional stability is really important to you guys. And the good thing about the Six of Swords is that you're moving away from water, turbulent water, to more calmer waters that lead to a firm foundation. So I like to see you guys moving away from emotionally toxic situations and moving towards a more sturdy, strong, uh, trustworthy foundation. So this is for Scorpio for September 2018. What do we have for Scorpio? You guys are just getting very thick messages. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go with this Scorpio. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups. So this is for you, Scorpio. Um, your cards are coming out in bulk. Um, I did just get a brief look at the, the Fool card um, in the Four of Pentacles. The bottom of your deck is the Four of Pentacles this month. So this is an attachment. This is some sort of um, holding on energy. You guys could be hanging on to something financial or some sort of situation. It could be your foundation. You may be holding on to something that's keeping you from a new beginning, though, because I did see the Fool card. Um, so we'll talk about that Four of Pentacles towards the end of the reading, but I do want to get started on your actual reading. I just think it's interesting that your messages are coming out all together. So it was interesting here that we had that whole situation where you needed the whole story. You need the whole picture. Well, it's coming out in your reading because, you know, I'm getting the whole picture for you, Scorpio. Usually my cards come out one by one or maybe two cards will come out. But we just had two full readings, like two decks of like six or seven cards that came out. So um, we're going to kind of separate this. this. Just take this however you will. You can experience any of these energies at any time, Scorpio, throughout September. But we have September in a nutshell here. For some of you, this is going to be the second half of the month. For others of you, this is going to be the first half and the second half, but it could be flipped. You know, you can experience this however. But that's just kind of how I read it because it's an even six. So this is the first half of September for some of you when we enter Virgo season. Remember, Virgo has everything to do with your 11th house of groups and community, humanitarian, it's even your wishes and your um, goals, stuff like that. But it's the house of groups and friends. Um, and then by the end of the month, when we go into Libra season, all this energy is going to shift into your 12th house, Scorpio. So this is a more subconscious journey that we're going on with you um, at the end of September, moving into October. This is going to be about sacrifice and um, spirituality and kind of like almost like a martyr energy. There may be certain things that you really have to give up, okay? So let's just take this one at a time here. We have the Two of Cups here as your first card, Scorpio. So a significant relationship here. This could even be a reunion for some of you. This could be a person that you were very emotionally tied to. This is an emotional tie. could be with a Leo for some of you or a fellow Pisces Cancer Scorpio. We do have some water coming up here. So I think you entered September. Now that you're watching this, it's most likely towards the middle of September because I'm recording this on the 15th. So, you know, we got to look back into the past a little bit here. When we first entered September, there was a lot of emotion, okay? You could even felt um, regretful about a certain partnership because we do have the Five of Cups next, okay? So this is an interesting message coming up here. Um, this is someone who you have an emotional relationship with. This could be a reconciliation, someone who came back. Um, and this also sometimes can be a decision that you need to make between two people or maybe it's just a decision that could potentially affect your relationship, but we have this two of cups here, and I think that this is just uh, 
some sort of relationship for Scorpio and there is clarity needed. There's definitely some communication that needs to take place in your guys' relationships because we have the Queen of Swords with the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. So there's something you're thinking about, right? We do have the Queen of Swords who is the thinking woman. She has that sword, very Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, this is your mental energy, Scorpio, this month. This is your, your clarity, your vision, your... Um, you know, conversations, your truth. So there's a certain truth that Scorpio is really ready to speak, especially towards the end of the month. Um, but yeah, maybe some of you guys are with air signs. I do see that some of you guys are with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or maybe you're with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Either way, there there's something that you need. You need the truth in your relationships now, Scorpio. You need clarity. But the Two of Cups sometimes can be a decision. You could be becoming clear about a decision in your relationships. Um, by the end of the month. Then we have the Five of Cups, which is a very interesting energy to come after the Two of Cups because there's I'm seeing that those of you who are led to watch this video, there's most likely some sadness and regret centered around some sort of relationship decision. Or maybe there's just sadness and regret emotionally in your relationships in the beginning of September, okay? There's certain conflict. We do have two fives here in the middle of your reading. And when the fives are not, not the most positive cards, right? This is a card of depression and sadness and really, really fretting over the emotions of the past. We have this man who's all dressed in black and he's staring down at these three cups on the ground. And this is sometimes symbolic for a third party situation. So you could have found out about a third party situation in your relationship or something like that. Or it could just be emotional drainage. Like these three cups were filled at one point. And this man is looking at this situation, and this already happened, right? He's just thinking about it now. So that might be what you're thinking about too, Scorpio, is things that went wrong in the past. I do feel an energy that you're very protected. You're kind of scared to be vulnerable. And I picked that up because of the allow love card. Like some of you guys are really fight, like fighting teeth and nails with um, really showing your heart. Because, you, you know, Scorpios can't help it. You guys are like those armadillos. You know those armadillos um, things? They roll up into a ball. It's like a titanium ball. Whenever they feel, that's their defense mechanism. With you, Scorpio, you've just got really thick armor as a scorpion. And you have those pinchers and that stinger to protect yourself. So you guys could be really, really stinging. And really just, you know, inside you're emotionally sad. You're still a water sign, Scorpio. So there's just some emotional sadness in your in some sort of relationship. For some of you guys, this is someone from the past where things didn't really work out. Could be someone you're still dealing with. And this most likely has something to do with communication in the mental. Because we have think about it and these two air sign air sign cards. So the one thing I did want to mention here with this, this five of cups is that this man is so focused on these three cups, right? The emotion he spent in the past that was wasted. This blood, sweat, and tears that that wasn't appreciated. He's really regretful of something in the past that dumped over. But if he's not careful, he won't realize that the two cups that are right there. And the two of cups is in your reading, Scorpio. So we have this card kind of reiterated in the five of cups. Here's this two of cups, right? This is what the two of cups looks like. Two people who have a cup, who are intertwining their emotional energies. They have a bond. This is a very, very special bond. So there could have been a very, very special bond from the past that didn't work out. And for September, it could be resurfacing. We have it, but you've turned your back on it though, Scorpio. You know, you're really depressed about it. I think that this is you shutting off your emotions, turning your back. Um, what you did, Scorpio, is you cut off emotional passion with this person. Like maybe you cut off sex with them, which is what a Scorpio will do. You guys are the sixth, the eighth house of sex and intimacy. And when you feel intimately abandoned by someone, they're not going to get the, the, the sex. So some of you guys just lost passion for a relationship because they were emotionally abandoning you. They could have been even manip manipulating you mentally and emotionally. So just be careful because this Two of Cups relationship is still behind you. It's going to be up to you guys to, to know whether this is something that, you know, that's why you have decisions and things to think about this month because you have this relationship showing up. And you know what, Scorpio? I'm going to go ahead and say this is because of Venus. You guys have Venus in your sign. And you also have Jupiter. So right now in the sky, Jupiter and Venus are both in Scorpio. So um, our love lives are being expanded and transformed because Jupiter Jupiter expands things, Scorpio transforms. So when Venus enters Scorpio, there is certain deaths to love. You know, like it doesn't have to be a bad death. It's, death is just transformation, right? 
So now that you have Venus, the planet of relationships and love and beauty in your sign, um, there's going to be certain things that come up about relationships and, and love for you. And because of that energy, you could really be focusing on um, things that didn't work out in the past that had you really emotionally depressed. And because of that, Scorpio, you could really be putting up your, your walls, you know. But just be careful that that relationship is something that you don't knock over because I just don't know. These two cups here, I always say this. I always use this as an example of how those two cups that those people have are actually behind this man. These two cups and these two cups are the same cups. And if you're not careful, they could those could be dumped over too. Like, this is not an entirely lost situation, you know. So it's about seeing the good and the bad, stuff like that. I'm going to shut my phone on. We just had this, I had a, a, an Aquarius just blowing up my phone just then. So I'm not sure if... You guys are dealing with an Aquarius energy. Some of you very much could be, but it looks as if there, there, you may have turned your back on a on a situation that was very. It could be a fire sign that you turned your back on because of the emotion. I mean, you have the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups, so there's a lot of emotion here from the past coming up. Um, I believe the Moon is in Scorpio right now as I'm talking to you guys. So around the 14th and the 15th moon and scorpio so that could re that could be influencing some of these emotions as well don't be surprised if around you know at some point in september you're going to be feeling these heavy emotions and scorpio handles emotions a bit differently than cancer or pisces you guys have to be stable and the reason why you're having a hard time is because you feel like more has been lost than what can be gained because three cups knocked over and there's only two that are still standing but just don't underestimate this two of cups relationship um, because it's a very powerful relationship, especially if there's clarity, especially if the communication is there. But for some others of you, you are dealing with toxic relationships. So you just want to use your own discernment there when it comes to the choices you're making. Because the Two of Cups is also a decision. Some of you guys may have a decision to be with a person. And I think some of you guys are going to decide to turn your back on it because you just don't feel... Once you, once you fuck up the trust of a Scorpio, you know, they're never the same. And you may be dealing with that. We do have the Ace of Wands in your reading, though, Scorpio, which is a significant fire energy. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, but also, this is expression in a new manifested journey. This is magic and creativeness. This is a new creative journey. So some of you guys just might be focusing on your own passions at the beginning of September. This could be a new passion to start with someone else. This could be the return of your own spark, where you're, you're getting out of the blues, because this is you. You were down in a funk. At some point in September, you were really depressed, Scorpio, and knowing you, you were probably keeping it a secret, not really talking to many people about it, but you were really emotionally drained because of this conflict that was happening. Um, but there's a point where there's some new magical beginning in September, around the middle of September, like the, the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, that's this energy here, it's some sort of new passionate start, it's something that just returns the passion in your heart, this is probably what allows you to allow love into your life it's pro this is probably what sparks that heart again there's something here that sparks um and it has to do with, with some sort of depression it was linked to a situation that fell apart um in the past but you finally turned around and you i don't know what you're doing with this two of cups some of you guys are really turning your back on this relationship because of the emotional drainage in the past because of your emotional vulnerabilities you're scared you know you you don't you don't trust this person with your passion or with your intimacy anymore. So, whatever this Ace of Wands is, it is still a new start for you. It's a new beginning. It's fiery, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, and it's creation. This could be a, some sort of creative burst that you get, Scorpio. It looks like you you enter you end the first half of September with some sort of newfound love, passion, expression. This could be you really starting to express yourself. You could have went. The, the Five of Cups could be pretty silent. You know, he's going through emotional conflicts and he's regretting the past. You're regretting this relationship. Some of you guys are regretting the emotion that you have you have instilled in this relationship because all it's done is drain you. And I wouldn't blame you, Scorpio, if you denied this Two of Cups. You have a decision to make to connect with this person again. And, you know, I feel like for you, you just don't want to look to where the passion is. Like, if you feel a connection with this person, if you feel on fire and passionate with this person then maybe there's a new start with them but you end this the first half of september with some sort of fiery new beginning 
it's completely new beginning for you guys. It's a passionate one. It's it's maybe you start expressing yourself, like I said, because you went through this depression and now you're ready to express yourself like fire. You know, say what you mean and mean what you say type of thing. And that's exactly how you start the second half. So now we're kind of in the present moment. So this energy could be the second half of the month when we're going through your 12th house. A lot of subconscious releasing that needs to take place, especially when it comes to anything that you're holding on to. All right. Um, we have the Queen of Swords to start you off from the 15th to the 29th. So there's something that you become clear about, Scorpio, at the end of the month. The Queen of Swords is very intellectual. She's not very emotional. So I, feel, I do feel like you guys are turning your back on emotion this month. Even if that means letting go of a relationship that you are emotionally connected in, you're coming to terms with how emotionally drained you have been. The Queen of Swords, the good thing about her is that all she cares about is her mental like her mental game is on point. She communicates um, very clearly. She'll cut your head off if she has to. This is clarity. There's some sort of vision that you have about your relationship. I do feel that there's some sort of conversation that's going to take place. Most likely it's going to be initiated by you, Scorpio, because I do feel this Queen of Swords energy as you. Even if you're a male, you're just communicating in a very bitchy way or in a very feminine way. Okay, so the, the good thing about the Queen of Swords is she is an excellent communicator. She speaks her truth. She she definitely, um, she's more concerned about her mental clarity than she is about anything else. So there's mental clarity needed here in, in, in this Two of Cups relationship. You could potentially be communicating about what, you, what was done to you in the past emotionally, Scorpio. And if you're not able to do that with this person, place, or thing then you're probably just going to cut them off because I feel like at this point you're you're willing to you're willing to welcome this conflict because we do have the 5 of swords which is a significant co conflict argument someone who's trying to win at all costs this person does not have clarity and they're probably acting like an asshole because of that so just keep in keep a keep a lookout for these energies and at the end of September because it looks like you're you have made your peace mentally with something when it comes to this relationship but there's still someone in the situation who wants to argue and like I said there's these two fives here so you guys there's some emotional arguments I'm telling you some of you are with an air sign because we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio Ari, uh, sorry Aquarius Gemini Libra so there's someone here who's who's kind of mentally manipulative and they've really drained you mentally and emotionally and if that's the truth then I, I see why you'd be turning your back these two cards are both fives, okay? So I think you're wanting some sort of completion as well. You, you, Scorpio, you are laying down your sword. Because that's another thing that the Five of Swords talks about is someone who just does not want to fight anymore. I mean, the Queen of Swords, she's not necessarily someone who will fight. She fights mentally. She just, she does not allow people to mentally manipulate her. That's why she's welcoming this narcissist. This is a, definitely a narcissistic energy, to be honest, is what I just picked up on. So you see how the Queen of Swords, is has she has cut through some of those clouds in the background. But there's this guy over here who's dealing with a lot of clouds. You know, somebody's raining on his parade. And there's people that he's hurt. There's people that he stole. He steals these swords. You know, he does not need any more swords. He doesn't need to say any other mean words because he's already hurt these two people. You know, and these two people have just given up basically. Like, fine, you know, have the argument. You can win. I don't care about winning anymore. I just care about my clarity. I care about my truth. I care about seeing clearly towards my vision. And there's someone in your life uh, at the end of September who's, who causes a lot of conflict for you, Scorpio. They cause you a lot of mental conflict. They argue. They're not a very good communicator at all. So, you know, you just stick to this Queen of Swords energy when it comes to your relationship. I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with third parties because this clarity and these arguments are kind of, you know, they're, they're kind of involving this Two of Cups. So there could be someone who comes back from the past. And I'm not sure if they're linked to these arguments. This could be someone who hurts you in the past, but, you know, you want to go with them. There's like two different people you guys are dealing with. Someone who you most recently been with, who you're probably barely with them too. And then there's someone from your past who's coming back who has hurt you. So you're dealing with someone who hurt you a long time ago and someone who hurt you recently. Some of you are really going to resonate with that. And there could be an emotional connection you still have with this person from the past that caused you conflict. Um, and there could just be, that might be why you're laying down your sword in one of these fights. Because the Queen of Swords, she picks her battles wisely. And I think some arguments may happen because of this person coming back from your past. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could just be like a friend. Especially with the Six of Cups, I definitely see a reconciliation on the table. So I'm not sure who you're reconciling with this month, Scorpio. But there, it's very passionate. 
And I think it's a new person, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. If, it doesn't have to go that way. But there's some kind of energy here about you healing. I think someone hurt you and there's going to be someone new in your life who may have also hurt you. But they hurt you so long ago and you've kind of made your peace with that. Um, and they kind of come in with a passion and it could be a fire sign for some of you. We have water, fire, and air here. We don't have any, we have pinnacles over here, all right? So all this energy on the table has something to do with what you're holding on to. You could be hanging on to a relationship from the past. You know, you could be attached. There could be an attachment between you or this person's attached to you. Um, you could be hanging on to sorrows from the past and, and regrets as water signs. Sometimes we really, really swim in the regrets of all the emotion we have simply wasted on people. But, you know, Scorpio, don't see it as a waste. I know I know that it caused certain conflicts within you and, you know, you're mentally beating yourself up. You're obviously heavily, heavily thinking about this this month. But, you know, we have an abundant supply of water, Scorpio. We really do. We, we're never going to ever run out of our sensitivity or our emotional intellect. So it's definitely okay to speak your truth about this emotional union. Maybe there's some truth that comes out about, you know, someone coming back from the past. Like, you know, well, I'm reconciling with this person. You hurt me so bad in the past that I am going to take this new passion and start with this soulmate that comes in. Others of you, there may not be two people to choose from. This could just be the same person we're talking about. But for some of you, I'm really feeling an energy that you are, that someone who you're with right now, you're, you are becoming clear about. You're the queen of swords about that person. And they're over here with conflict and they just want to argue and be that same old narcissist way. And they don't realize that you're just turning your back on that relationship and you're getting passion from somewhere else. You know, you're getting the clarity that you need. I would really hate to see this Five of Swords guy argue with this Queen of Swords because she's smarter. She's stronger mentally. She communicates better. So just stay very mentally sound. This is that this this energy goes very well with this. Think about it. Because there's there's a moment in September where you know you have to make a decision, Scorpio, and it's probably about a relationship or about something. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's about a friendship for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, when you're thinking about uh, the whole picture, when you're taking that moment in September to, to take a step back about all this, make sure that you're just really staying, staying clear about your truth and your values. You know, don't allow this distracting conflict you know this may be certain arguments but if you get an argument at the end of september just you know watch what you just say what you mean scorpio don't let anyone drain you any farther emotionally because this person has already drained three of your cups but that's okay because towards the end of the month we end with a very very lovely lovely card this is the six of cups scorpio and the fact that it's underneath the ace of wands this could definitely be a fire sign a aries sagittarius leo coming back from your past but it does not have to be a fire sign. This could be someone with very fiery energy. I think they just spark something in you. Someone comes back from your past, Scorpio, at the end of September, and they just spark a nostalgic, like you're just like, oh my God, I remember when I felt that way. I think you guys have been in relationships. Some of you guys have just been single for a while, or you've just, um, you know, been in relationships where you've been emotionally abandoned like i think scorpio has really been in, in, in relationships like this you've been in relationships like this but feeling like this like those two cups are behind you for a reason you know you have turned your back on this relationship maybe you're telling somebody no you know i don't want to get back with you i'm better off without you but at the end of the month i'm telling you there's something here that sparks with someone from the past this could be some sort of creative project for some of you um, that is taking you places to your childhood, but it's got you thinking about the old days. And this, for some of you, it is straight up love. Okay, come on now. We have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups in the reading. So there's relationship stuff. This is Venus energy. Venus and Venus is retro. Oh, Venus is retrograding in Scorpio soon at the end of the month, at the end of the month. So when Venus goes retrograde, do not be surprised. I'm telling you, Scorpio, I just looked up. And I've got a lot of astrology stuff around me. Um, I looked up at this cup that I have right here. I guess I'll just show it to you. Well, I, I just so happened to look right at the Venus planet right there. Okay, so that's a synchronicity. So Venus and Scorpio going retrograde, meaning that Venus is going to spend more time than usual in your sign because she's slowing down. Trust her. 
why do you think allow love is in your reading, Scorpio? Because Venus, Venus and Scorpio is all about your heart. It's all about love. It's all about beauty, okay? And we've got something from the past returning, some sort of sexual passion or some creative project. Sometimes the Six of Cups can have to do with children. So there could be something nostalgic about your children. There could be a significant age difference. But for some of you, this is a soulmate. And it is somebody, whether this is you or another person who walked away from this this child, they could, someone could have walked away from you and children, or they could have walked away from you when you were a child, but this energy is coming back, Scorpio. This is going to make you really reminisce on the old times, like times where you felt very emotionally blossomed. Because you've been with a really cold air sign person, someone who just talks a lot of shit, but has no real depth. Like, they act like they're so smart and la 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 la, but look at how unclear they are. Like, all they know how to do is manipulate people into not knowing what to think. Like, you're dealing with a really, someone who's emotionally and mentally manipulative. Some of you guys definitely are. But I love seeing the Queen of Swords here to help you um, when you're thinking about this. Because she's way more sound. She has a lot of more mental capacity than the Five of Swords. You know, I think you're really deciding to lay down your sword and no longer, like, it takes two to tangle, and Scorpio is turning their back. So if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, be careful, because all this arguing has really drained them emotionally. And at the end of the day, Scorpio is a water sign, and they want someone who they can feel safe with. Um, Leo is coming up here for you guys. If you guys are with Leo, um, I'm not sure if there's something there about some sorrow there. Um, because, yeah. I don't know, Scorpio. I think you guys don't really know whether you're single or taken this month. And that's going to really cause some intimate issues with you guys, too. But just keep in mind, toward the end of the month, there's a new spark with some sort of childhood friend. Okay? You guys could be going back to places from your childhood. But it's going to really bring up some old memories. And Venus retrograde is definitely going to bring back some passion that you had with a person before. You know, maybe years ago. Maybe when you were a childhood. Could be your childhood sweetheart or your crush. And this is most likely someone who walked away before. Maybe this is a past life, too. This might not be just this life, Scorpio, but there could be an age difference. It could involve children. Maybe someone walked away before. So, yeah, definitely some conversations that need to take place when it comes to the decisions you have to make in your relationships. Scorpio, please express your emotions clearly, even if that means arguing about, you know, and not even arguing, you know, because that's, that's petty shit. You need to be the queen of swords and speak from a transformed mental state. You know what I mean? Like every queen of swords, all the swords have like some sort of butterfly there. So I think you've went through a mental transformation and you're no longer going to fight with this person, place, or thing. It's just not worth it to you, especially because you have new things coming. Like you're able to feel new passion because of something new, some new, new thing that came at the around the 15th. Maybe a little bit before that, like the 13th, 14th, 15th, there's a new passionate start that you have, Scorpio, that that really gives you clarity. Like, I think that this new passionate spark gave you clarity. It pushed you into the Queen of Swords energy to where you're not you're not as emotionally invested in this person, place, or thing that, that you were. And this person doesn't know how to respond to that. They're like, why can't I control you? Why am I losing control? Well, because, asshole, um... Scorpio is smarter like they have studied you don't you know that Scorpio is the house of secrets so there could be some truth that you're just you could be speaking this person's truth for them like you just get them and you get you and that's something boring like you're, you just want you want to be with someone who's exciting Scorpio and passionate and keeps you guessing and but makes you feel you don't want to worry about whether someone's cheating on you or not like you know, you just want someone who can balance you out, who can be dominant and submissive and who brings out dominant traits in you and submissive traits in you. That could be definitely what's going on. But I do want to mention here, Scorpio, that there is something you need to let go of about something in September. You may need to let go of some sorrow from the past. You have to let go of this conflict because in order for this person to come in, this soulmate, this person that has to do with some sort of child or something like that, we have to let go. We have the Four of Pentacles. So everything on the table has, if in some way, you're hanging on to all of these cards. So you want to ask yourself that. You want to think about that. How are you hanging on? This is not always a bad card, though. It does speak of attachment. It does speak of, you're like hanging on to something that's smaller than what's coming for you, Scorpio. And I almost just said Virgo. So some of you are dealing with a Virgo, for sure. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles under here. 
and this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So some of you are either hanging on to um, a financial situation, like you guys are at jobs that only pay a certain amount of money. And the longer you hang on to that job, Scorpio, the, the more and more that you're not going to be able to attract a bigger opportunity for yourself. Because you're pretty occupied with whatever you're hanging on to. You know, this person has a pinnacle on their head. You you are hanging on to the little bit of value that you have in that situation. But the universe is saying that you might want to ask yourself if it's enough value, especially because the Queen of Pinnacles is showing up here. The Queen of Pinnacles is very balanced uh, financially. She's very independent. She cooks, she cleans, she does laundry. So this is the Earth Mother. And it is a significant Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Some of you guys are hanging on to a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And it could be because you're hanging on to them financially. And then maybe if you have your own Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, then this could be you. You could be hanging on to reality. You know, instead of this could be good because you don't want to lose yourself to the emotion of the past, anything that can confuse you or manipulate you. If you hang on to what you can see and what's real, if you hang on to your own worth and your own value, then this could be a good message. But others of you are hanging on to something that is taking up too much space in your energy. And there's something that wants to make its way through for you, like this Ace of Wands, like this Soulmate coming back from the past, like this Two of Cups energy. But it can't because of this Earth energy that's in the way. We do have the Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So yeah, some of you are dealing with definitely Geminis or Virgos um, because the Merc this is the Mercury energy. Mercury is in Virgo right now. Um, so this is Gemini or Virgo, but it could also be any sign. This could be a distraction. Um, maybe you guys are manifesting some sort of marriage or some sort of, um, you know, home environment because we have this with the four of wands. So there's something you're manifesting, Scorpio, that has to do with marriage because this is the, the marriage. This is a celebration. So I think you, you really finally realized that you had all the tools you needed to celebrate this thing. You have everything you need, Scorpio, whether you're with someone or not. You can manifest love, you can manifest happiness, you can manifest financial abundance. There's nothing that you can't manifest, <clears throat> especially because Jupiter is in your sign, which is the planet of luck and fortune. So this is a beautiful energy, this magician and this four of pentacles. I'm sorry, this four of um, wands. Interesting that I said four of pentacles because we do have the four, we have two fours here. So your foundation is coming up here, Scorpio. You guys could be hanging on to somebody who you're engaged to or someone who you really want to marry. If you guys are married, then definitely there's something you're hanging on to. And you know, Scorpio, it's going to be up to you. I don't know if this is a bad thing or a good thing. I think it's going to differ between Scorpios. Um, some of you guys are hanging on because of this whole two of cups. You know, there's still love there. You, It's still behind you. It's still available. This reconciliation, um, it's still fixable. So that might be why you're hanging on to the foundation you have you know it, maybe there's a home that you have with this person maybe you live with this this person you guys have a family and there's certain celebrations that you're trying to manifest there's certain maybe it's a relationship or something that you're celebrating but either way you manifested it because you knew you had all the tools that you needed but just be careful that this isn't a distraction because sometimes the magician can be a very tricky person some of you guys are with very tricky people so you're gonna have to trust your intuition for those of you who are thinking about getting married, that might be that big decision that the, the Think About It card is telling you to look out for. So if you guys have marriage on the horizon that, that you manifested or something like that, um, maybe that's why you guys are all freaking out because you're like, oh my God, like I'm marrying this person. Like, you know, so and I want to mention here that we have the King of Pentacles now in the world. So we have a strong Capricorn energy here for some of you. And we also have Taurus and Virgo. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So I'll tell you right now, at, at some point in September, you are going to be in, in the presence of somebody who is the yin to your yang. Because look at these two people. This is the King of Earth and the Queen of Earth. They are dating. They are very grounded. This is a very grounded couple. They're very realistic. They're very logical. They're not going to argue about stupid stuff because they're, they're both really down to earth. You know, they, they both uh, share finances, like the King of Pentacles makes his money, the Queen of Pentacles makes her own money. They never argue about stuff like that because everything's balanced, everything's justified, you know, their home lives are very put in, in order. So this is someone, for some reason, the King and the Queen of Pentacles is showing up for you, Scorpio. So there's some sort of divine masculine, divine feminine, definitely Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy heavily. And there's some kind of relationship that this person is literally the night to your day. Like, they're, this is a relationship. 
with the two of cups here as well and the king and the queen of pentacles like yeah they are a match made in heaven and we have the world so some sort of completion it could be karmic but it does lead to wish fulfillment scorpio so it's really interesting that we have that king of pentacles coming out with this queen of pentacles energy so we got female earth signs and male earth signs i wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys have your own earth energy um the bottom of the, your deck was the four of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles here which was underneath the four of pentacles and then it went like that so i'm pretty sure that's how your guys's cards went which tells me that there is something um that you're hanging on to and it could be financial for some of you it could be an earth sign um it could be your foundation like maybe you just don't want your foundation to fall apart whether you're married or not this is a home environment we have two fours and four in astrology talks about family it talks about home life and that would make sense why the queen and the king of pentacles are showing up because the king and the queen of pentacles are all about stability within the home financial stability you know dinner at six o'clock like there's certain things that you you guys want as tradition which is a very taurus energy as well but you know you guys are in relationships where you're still hanging on to something you're hanging on to this marriage or this you know celebration this home environment definitely so it's going to be different for all of you guys it's going to be different for all of you guys but this is something that you manifested definitely something that you manifested because we had the magician in the four pinnacle the four of wands so I, I really think because I keep saying the four of pinnacles for this card that you guys are hanging on to you know a relationship that you felt that you manifested you know it could be something that you're very realistic earthy some sort of foundation or money like there could be codependent situation where you guys you're being financially taken care of by someone else or you just live with it's technically their house or something i don't know but all in all scorpio there is certain regrets this at the beginning of september about some sort of union but you know there's a passion it's beginning as well and so moving out of uh the first half and into the second half of the month you you enter it with clarity there's some sort of truth that is spoken in your relationship and that may or may not cause certain conflict but it's all about how you handle that conflict handle it like the queen of swords this is your opportunity to think about things now that you have the whole picture at the end of september you will have the whole picture and you know you are being told to allow love this could be for a new person because I'm seeing a lot of passion returning from the past because of Venus. So there could be a soulmate coming back from the past. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you have to stop hanging on to this earth, right? There's, there may be something you have to sacrifice. Remember, end of the month is all about sacrifices for you because it's the 12th house. So you may have to sacrifice um, certain stuff in conversations or maybe sacrifice something from your past or sacrifice your foundation to jump into something new with a person. But just remember, make sure you're weighing out all your options before you, you do something this month, Scorpio. You're being very cautioned when it comes to that. And I, I, I know that there's emotional conflict with you this month. And it may be because of something from your past or some sort of reconciliation. Like, do I get back with this person or do I not? Because I do not want to be hurt in the same way. I don't want this emotional conflict anymore. I want clarity in my relationships. I want passion. Okay, this is nostalgic. There's some sort of childhood energy here. You're entering October under the influence of like nostalgic, like memories from the past with your children or as you were a child, soulmate energy, maybe even a past life. Um, and, you know, this may cause some conflict that this person comes back because, you know, the conflict is surrounded. There's there's this message here where emotional conflict is centered is, is around some sort of reconciliation. And then we have actual arguments around some sort of uh, someone coming back from the past reconciliation. So there's going to be some conflict in the relationships this month because of Venus and because of all that hype. But it, it, for one thing, one thing that's positive about it, Scorpio, is it's gonna it's gonna relight your passion. It's a new creative beginning that you manifested. So we have water, we have air, we have cups. So okay fire water air and then earth here so you know there is something here about your foundation and your relationships that's why there's so much earth and foundation energy um on the on the underlying energy so when there's no pinnacles in a person's reading that means that there's a missing element of finances so you may not have the finances maybe that's something you guys are arguing about is finances and stuff like that um but you also need a firm foundation scorpio 
in your relationships. You need a, you know, you need a mental foundation, an emotional foundation. You need a physical home environment. So I think the home environment is coming up here quite a bit because that's that's kind of what's stopping you guys from making a, a very radical decision because you don't want to potentially like be without a foundation, right? Um, so yeah, there's something here about that, but the underlying energy has a lot to do with earth. Even though it's missing in your reading, it is the reason why it's on the table. So there's some sort of financial issue here. Um, there's some sort of foundation issue here. And of course, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be something about the missing energy of a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. And, you know, that could be why you're hanging on to certain things. You know, certain things that you've manifested about your home life and your marriage, um, that king and that queen of pinnacle, you know, it's all about, you know, shared effort, Scorpio. You guys are the house of shared resources, so you really expect people to share, you know, at least their thoughts and emotions with you and their passions and their intimacy, you know? So just make sure it's 50-50 and that you're not giving more than you're receiving. And I just, I love this person for you. Whoever this is, whoever comes into your life, uh, end of September, beginning of October, there's a there's a good energy about them like I feel like they really 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 bring passion back to your life and they're probably going to help you let go of your fears with this individual or with money or with your house something like that okay so hopefully this helped you Scorpio um it was a really interesting reading if you guys have any questions or anything like that please don't be afraid to comment below I love the comments um I will be back to talk to you guys at the end of the month um with that Aries full moon so that's another thing coming up here is that Aries full moon. Remember, we're dealing with your 12th, we're dealing with your 11th house and your 12th house. So friends, this could be a friend that comes back from your childhood, friends, groups of people. Another thing I wanted to mention um, is there's a lot of people in this picture in the background, groups of people, okay? So just be careful about outside influences in your relationships this month because that could be a contributing factor when you're going through 11th house stuff. Things become very collective and groups. And then this is all about spirituality at the end of the month. Uh, the end of September, beginning of October is all about your 12th house of sacrifice, dreams, subconscious, stuff like that. So yeah, Scorpio, I will talk to you guys on the Aries full moon. If I don't see you then, I will talk to you in the October videos. All right, bye guys. Thanks for watching.